Welcome to your course tour of Thinking About Psychology. This text was created for the on-level psychology course by high school authors for high school students. They draw on their many years of experience in the high school classrooms to engage your students. Charlie Blair Broker taught at Cedar Falls High School in Iowa for 36 years and now teaches part-time at Hawkeye Community College. Charlie has been involved in a number of American Psychological Association initiatives, serving as a member of the task force that authored the National Standards for High School Psychology Curricula as the first elected chair of the Executive Board of Teachers of Psychology in Secondary Schools, as co-editor of the fourth volume of the Activities Handbook for the Teaching of Psychology, and as a member of the steering communities for the 2017 Summit on High School Psychology, the 2008 National Conference on Undergraduate Education in Psychology, and the 1999 National Forum on Psychology Partnerships. He has been a test developer, question leader, rubric master, table leader, or reader for advanced placement psychology since the test was first administered in 1992. He has given scores of presentations about the teaching of psychology across the nation. Randy Ernst has been part of the high school psychology scene for over 30 years. In 2017, American Psychological Association President Antonio Puente awarded Randy a presidential citation for pioneering leadership of modern-day pedagogy of psychology. This honor was bestowed on Randy at the 2017 APA Summit on High School Psychology Education, an event Randy co-chaired. The APA's Teachers of Psychology of Secondary Schools which Randy helped found, recently honored him by establishing the Randall M. Ernst Lecture given each year at the APA National Convention. After serving on the initial AP Psychology Test Development Committee, Randy was the first high school teacher invited to be a question leader and exam leader at the AP Psychologist Reading. The goal of today's session is to prepare you for using your new psychology program. We will do a quick review of the psychology course with an in-depth review of the student and teacher's edition textbooks and conclude with an examination of the teacher resources and add-ons to make sure you have a full understanding of the program. Before we get started, let's review the materials you have received with your order. If you have ordered at least a class set, you should have received a teacher's edition, exam view test bank, and the teacher's resource materials. You may have received your test bank and or teacher resource materials on a flash drive or via a downloadable URL. Please note that the digital platform Launchpad is not automatically added to your adoption. This component requires additional purchase. If there is anything you have not received, please contact your local sales representative. Now we'll take a quick look at the student edition. Please make note of an incredibly helpful feature found in the book's preface on page XVII. This visual walkthrough is created for both you and your students. It's something that you can refer back to time and again as you get acquainted with the text. Now let's look at the features of your student edition. We'll start with the organization. We purposefully use a modular structure to help you plan and pace your course effectively and to help students master the material. If you're not familiar with the Thinking About Psychology book, you might be wondering, what are these modules? Your new textbook is organized broadly by the domains used by the American Psychological Association and then into modules, which are equivalent to lessons, with each designed to be taught in one to two class periods based on a standard 45 to 50 minute class period. This modular structure helps you more easily organize and plan your course and helps students stay on track with daily assignments. The modular organization also allows for more flexibility to teach the material in whatever order best suits your teaching style and classroom needs. If you haven't used a modular book before, you are in for quite a treat. Each module is carefully designed to present a small amount of content in an engaging way. Each module begins with a personal story about the content shared by the module's author, who is shown in a caricature. A set of three to five learning goals are used as organizing tools for the module. They appear in the questions that guide the narrative and are reviewed at the end of the module. Learning the key terms is facilitated by the running glossary. Although not shown here, key people in psychology are also showcased in the text. Each photo has been carefully selected to provide an image that reinforces the text and is accompanied by a descriptive caption to underscore the purpose of the photo. Similarly, all of the figures are rendered to illustrate the points made in the text and to provide easy to understand visual reinforcement for the concept. Figure captions underscore the key points. 
Numerous integrated features, as shown here, help to engage your students and connect psychology with their everyday life. Positive psychology icons offer tips for living and working at your optimal performance level. Life Matters margin features invite students to think critically about psychology's function in their day-to-day -day lives. Psychology in the Real World examines psychological research and asks students to think about how it applies. The APA, TOPS, and other organizations that support the discipline of psychology are increasing their emphasis on the fact that psychology is a science. These boxed features encourage students to think like a psychological scientist. Make it stick questions appear at the end of most learning goal questions to give students a chance to test their comprehension after reading a short amount of content. Developing the habit of using these questions regularly will help students master the content. Think about it questions included at the end of each psychology in the real world box give students a chance to ponder on open-ended questions and to develop their critical thinking skills. These questions provide an excellent springboard for class discussion or projects. Each module ends with a bulleted summary, organized by learning goal question, a short multiple choice summative assessment, and a list of key terms and key people with page references so students may easily review content on which they are unclear. And finally, if you have ELL students whose primary language is Spanish, the glossary slash glossario will prove very helpful for those students. The side-by-side -side definitions help them translate the terms so they can better master the content. This concludes our review of the student edition, but remember to go back to the overview in the preface to review the features as needed. Now let's discuss the teacher's edition. This edition was written with you in mind by Elizabeth Yost Hammer as the director of the Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Faculty Development at Xavier University. Liz's academic work focuses on teaching and learning strategies. As a social psychologist and past chief reader of the AP Psychology course, she brings tremendous knowledge about how to best engage students in the teaching of psychology and how to support both new and experienced teachers in developing an engaging psychology class. Just like the overview from the student edition, the preface in the teacher's edition is the place to start to get acquainted with your text. In addition to margin content that wraps around the student edition pages, each domain begins with a set of blue pages to introduce you to the content in each of the modules and a list of resources that are available to support your instruction. A section on differentiated learning follows the resource list and precedes the pacing guide and alignment to the national standards. Suggestions for amount of time to devote to each module is provided for both standard 45 to 50 minute classes and for block schedules. The various types of margin features are described in the preface to the teacher's edition. Helpful features appear in the margins next to the reduced student edition pages. Many different kinds of features are included to help you teach a compelling psychology course from your very first day. Suggestions for opening activities are provided as bell ringers and other interesting ways to kick off a new domain or module. At the conclusion of each module, closing activities and assessments are provided to help you wrap up and assess the module content effectively. Additional margin tips include various types of teaching tips that suggest formative assessment activities, assess as you go, insights on the content, teaching tips, answers, and a new feature called Liz's Workshop, in which TE author Liz Hammer offers pedagogical advice and observations to help enrich your knowledge of the content. Here we see a sample of some of the additional teaching tips, including discussion prompts, dig deeper, engagement activities, and enrichment. Considerable attention has been paid to providing guidance to teachers to call out various kinds of connections in the material, including concept connections, cross-curricular connections, and multicultural connections. Special attention has been paid in the blue pages and in the margin notes to suggest ways to differentiate instruction. As noted in the blue pages, there are a wealth of extra resources available to support each module. Each one is called out at point of use with a TRM icon. In the Teacher's Edition eBook, each resource is accessible with a click when you are connected to the internet. Here is a summary of the types of teacher resources that are included. Finally, please know that answer keys are provided for every question posed in the text. They appear on the page with the question or in the answer appendix.
Now let's discuss your teacher's resources. You may receive these resources on a flash drive that looks like a credit card or via a link and password for download provided by your BFW sales representative. You may also receive the resources in our Launchpad platform, but we will discuss that later. For now, let's review the material available in the teacher's resources. These resources were created to work hand in glove with your teacher's edition. If you purchased additional resources, such as the Launchpad digital platform, we will review those now. If you did not purchase a digital product, you can fast forward to the end of the video. Created and supported by educators, Launchpad and its ebook program includes all of the resources you and your students need in one convenient place. The interactive, mobile ready ebook allows you both to read and reference the text when you are working online or to download it to read when an internet connection is not available. Our ebook is powered by VitalSource, so whether you choose Launchpad or our standalone VitalSource option, your ebook features are consistent. Learning Curve Adaptive Quizzing offers individualized question sets and feedback in a low stakes environment. You can assign the quizzes or students can test themselves for extra practice on areas of confusion. Launchpad includes these features and so much more. To get the most out of your Launchpad program, please schedule a live training with our digital specialist at go.onesub.com slash high school. This concludes our professional development in service. If you have any questions about the products discussed in this video, please email your BFW sales representative. If you have any questions about professional development or this video, please email us at highschoolpd at bfwpub.com. Thank you.